now very quickly how do i experience the healing power of god we need to know what it takes now that we know that god wants to heal he wants to restore to an original and even better state what does it take to experience the healing power of god there are two keys i'm going to give you and then we'll begin to pray how do i experience the healing power of god number one are you ready the first key locate and stand upon the word of god as it concerns your healing or whatever area of concern locate and stand upon the word of god as it concerns your healing or whatever area of concern this is the first thing if you want to experience the healing power of god you have a responsibility to locate and stand upon the word of god as it concerns your healing three scriptures very quickly number one isaiah 53 and verse 5 isaiah 53 and verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions the bible says he was bruised for our iniquities it says the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed apostle peter rend rendering this version says by his stripes we were healed so you have to locate what the word of god says psalms 102 from verse 2 and 3 in fact let's start from verse one i hope i got that right please if i didn't look for it for me bless the lord oh my soul bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits making a mistake type okay one or three bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name he says bless the lord oh my soul verse 2 and forget not his benefits now what are the benefits number one verse 3 who forgiveth all thine iniquities are you seeing the protocol now he starts with forgiveness and then who healed all thy diseases in fact we add verse 4 he says who redeemed thy life from destruction and then he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies these are all called benefits so you must locate from the word of god what has god said concerning my healing what has god said i have taught you countless times here dear people of god that the boundary of a believer's commitment god's commitment to the believer is scripture scripture represents the jurisdiction of god's commitment to the believer hallelujah standing 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 on the promises of god my savior standing I am standing on the promises of God. One more time. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I am standing on the promises. look up let me tell you something about the word of god until you can find it in scripture the ish, the verse and the scripture that directly addresses your area of expectation or your area of concern believe me there is no confidence that god is committed over that issue now for some of you you may say apostle i've searched my bible and I don't seem to find anywhere where my particular case is mentioned. I will show you that all the cases that you have that may not seem to be in the Bible, there is a category where the Bible keeps them. John 20, John 20 from verse 30 and 31. 
and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book so there are many other things that he did but are not written in this book your expectation qualifies to get into that list Lord I know that you can do it even though I did not see the particular issue I'm looking for here but the Bible says that you have done many things that were not written here but the good thing is that you did it and I'm releasing my faith that becomes the second key that I will receive this key number one locate and stand upon the Word of God as it concerns your healing or whatever area of concern are we together yes and then number two reach out and receive by faith reach out and receive your healing or reach out and receive whatever it is that you desire by faith regardless the prevailing symptoms reach out and receive by faith regardless the prevailing symptoms I put symptoms here because we are talking about sickness but it applies to whatever area Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 it says without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he exists and then that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him so when we seek him sincerely trusting him to come through for us the Bible says that he is a rewarder scripture number two in John chapter 5 John chapter 5 from verse 1 to 9 very classic rendition of how to reach out by faith the Bible says after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem uh-huh next verse now there was at Jerusalem at the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches look at the kinds of people that were there in these lay a great multitude of important folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had look at this kind of thing and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years do you know the first thing about this story please go back to verse 5 I would have been concerned or I would have been less concerned if the Bible said there were certain people who stayed there very long the first thing the Bible tells us is that there was a multitude of important folk and then he now isolates one man and says that one man among the multitude had been there 38 years if he said there were 10 people or 15 people you will know that it was not unique to one man that means there was something wrong with this one man that multitudes will come and go multitudes will come and go but that one man remained there verse 6 when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him watch this now will you be made whole that was a question watch the man's answer the important man answered and said sir I have no man when the water is troubled was that the question you see why the guy was there do you want to be healed he said I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into that means I am not willing to take responsibility over my action as powerful as the problem was not with the angel the problem was not with the water but for him to make the effort he did not know that in receiving from God you have a role to play and he said I'm just lying down there waiting for who will play my role for me and that waiting made 38 years of a moment of God's power can I tell you this every time you fail to do what God has empowered you to do as far as your own equation your own participatory role in obtaining from God is you will only prolong your pain and prolong your condition 
the angel came and stirred the water and yet the man said i have no man to put me into the pool do you know the kind of labor it takes to carry an impotent man and put him into the pool but while i am coming another stepped down before me that another that stepped down before him was he the only important man there the bible says they were important men carelessness and he just felt one day and he became 38 years look at the mercy of jesus verse 8 and jesus said all right now i want to give you a chance to learn how it works you will think that jesus will hold him jesus said rise it was the same thing rise which one is easier roll or rise i mean you went to school roll or rise jesus comes and you would think the equation would change even if you meet jesus it will still take the same fate rise then take up your bed at least if you fall into the water you will not take up your bed it's just to roll jesus said rise take up your bed and walk and finally nine so he had that ability he always had it it was a flimsy excuse he was giving if that man could rise then it means he would have been able to roll and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked on the same day and it was a sabbath can you imagine that look at me please even if jesus christ the son of the living god appears here directly to replace me you would think just because he has come you will start rejoicing i assure you there will be people who will live without receiving anything to the point that you will suspect if, if this was jesus or not because his coming will not push away the need for faith are we together now it will always take faith in the word of god to receive you must believe that god has come through for you and then you take the corresponding action by faith romans chapter 4 from verse 18 and 19 the bible speaking about abraham says who against hope do you know what it means to believe in hope against hope against hope means that there were evidences glaring before him that would tell him you may never have a child again for him and his wife sarah but the bible says against hope regardless the symptoms regardless whatever it is he believed that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken he did not just believe as he wanted he believed according to that which was spoken verse next verse 19 and be not weak in faith the bible says he considered not his own body now dead when he was about 100 years old neither the deadness of sarah's womb the bible says he considered not that's why i said you have to reach out by faith if you focus on symptoms you will never receive from god you have to learn to take your eyes away when peter looked at jesus he could walk on water but when he turned and saw how boisterous the sea was the bible says he began to sink they looked unto him and they were not ashamed can i tell you this i assure you by the god of heaven that god like our dear people sang is still the resurrected king and he's still in the business of resurrecting people to resurrect means to bring you out of the grave every kind of grave reach out by faith reach out by faith apostle i have come here i'm trusting god for healing even in my finances my own is that my finances nothing is working when the word of god comes that god is able to bless you and to lift you it is your responsibility to reach out by faith how do you reach out by faith believing that god is able to step in and then finding out 
what you what role you need to play to release the power of God in fact let me give us a third key the third key if I'm to give us anyone here will be expect the anointing to flow in response to your faith expect the anointing to flow in response to your faith because the anointing of the Holy Spirit is the power it is the agency that actually brings the results faith is a means of connection it connects you to the power of God but the agency that does the work is the anointing the power of God let's look at Luke chapter 8 Luke chapter 8 let's start from verse 14 this is I was so touched when our dear sister came and gave her the, the lady with with the issue of blood and I looked at it and I said can you imagine this kind of thing you can imagine the kind of the kind of discomfort that this would have left this lady in but thank God for the power of God Luke chapter 8 from verse 40 are we there media the Bible says and it came to pass that when Jesus was returned the people gladly received him for they were all waiting for him uh -huh. next verse it says and behold there came a man named Jarius and he was a ruler of the synagogue and he fell down at Jesus's feet and besought him that he should come to his house so the man is pleading that he will come to his house for he had only one daughter about 12 years of age and she lay a dying but as he went to the as he went the people thronged him next verse and a woman having an issue of blood 12 years you know what this means the day they gave birth to that child that was the day her problem started they were both 12 years the day that child was born while the mother was in the, the i want to say mortuary while she was in the delivery room giving birth this woman's trouble started all 12 years so which 12 years will jesus attend to it depends on who reaches both of them had 12 year old problems and you would think just because one is a little girl in the school of the spirit is not about age it is your ability to reach and believe please keep that scripture there i want to teach you something very powerful the bible says while they were on their way going a woman having an issue of blood 12 years which had spent all her living upon physicians neither could be healed by any 44 the Bible says came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood verse 45 and Jesus said this is where we are going to who touched me when all denied peter and they that were with him said master the multitude throng thee and press thee and saith thou who touched me in other words this is a silly question jesus there are so many people pushing at you how in the world will you say that and jesus said somebody had touched me for i perceive shalaka many people were touching for various reasons but i perceive that virtue power the anointing has gone out of me there is a touch that places a demand look at this that means it was possible for jarius to have stood in even for the daughter and touched him immediately he was talking with somebody for a long time and he said come to my house I believe that until you come to my house my child will not be healed that was the direction of the power of God it had to be activated when he arrives his house because his faith did not believe you'll be healed now but there was a woman who said I know you are passing my own is I don't have the power for any discussion I just need to touch you listen all 12 year old problems hear me you can believe God that your miracle will come December the power of God will go slowly and honor your faith till it gets to December you can believe that your increase will come from your salary and from your, God's power will work with the people in your office slowly until they start raising your paycheck 
but you can believe like the woman with the issue of blood she did not have a discussion all she needed to do was to touch but you see let me tell you this it was not an ordinary touch please give us that scripture he says somebody had touched me for i perceive virtue is gone out of me 47 when the woman saw that she was not hid she came trembling and falling down before him she declared unto him and before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately last verse 48 it says and he said to her daughter be of good comfort he didn't say my anointing has healed you your faith your all the discussions you said when you read mark's account the bible says she said to herself there was a contemplation that was happening there can i tell you this two people can have the same issue of sickness two people can have the same issue of finances and one person will push 12 year old child dying 12 year old woman with the issue of blood as far as pain is concerned and the longevity of the problem they were all 12 year old that means you would think that jesus will attend to the issues the same time because of the time it was whoever could reach one stood with jesus and was talking for a long time playing politics and negotiating jesus would you come another woman said i don't have time for that i know what it means to be in this condition all that is required to pull that virtue is faith the same way someone can be in here you are watching me and not receive but someone can be at the overflow or another nation like the woman with the issue of blood and saying i may not be here but all i need is an opportunity to reach out i expect the anointing of the holy spirit will always flow in the direction of your faith the anointing of the holy spirit will always flow in the direction of your faith if your faith says next week the anointing says amen if your faith says now the anointing says amen if your faith says in 10 years the anointing says amen the assignment of the anointing is to say amen to whatever faith says the man was standing with jesus every part of him was dripping power and yet nothing happened because based on the construction of his faith he believed that jesus had to travel down until he got to his house and then to lay hands physically on his child and there was no point arguing jesus said okay that's fine let's go and then a woman said i'm do you know what it means to touch the hem of your garment this is it just to touch you like this you would think it's a breeze and jesus said no no among these many the same way there are many in koinonia now lifting their hands but there are others the lifting of their hands is not just to heaven alone it is to jesus and to his servant saying lord i believe and then i receive if i may but touch the hem of his garment the bible says immediately she was healed I've seen a bit of the power of God in my life and I understand a bit about the dynamics of the anointing by the grace of God. Do you know, I have traveled for meetings where sadly, I have seen certain people not touched and yet the, the major dimension of the anointing that flowed in that meeting was over those kinds of cases and why they were not touched, sometimes it would surprise me and then later on, you would be going out and find out that other people maybe security people or somebody out there will now call and say you cannot imagine what happened to me and i'm saying but it cannot be god god cannot be that unfair proximity to an anointing does not guarantee reception proximity to an anointing does not guarantee reception it takes a revelation of faith you connect to the anointing by faith if you have the privilege to have proximity to the anointing then you can receive but with or without proximity your faith can reach any part of the globe proximity to the anointing listen to me 
there is nowhere in this auditorium or outside or across the globe where the power of God cannot reach you can choose to be Jarius tonight and say apostle you have to come and walk let's go through that intellectual journey until we get to my house the only issue is that sometimes the concerns in your life may not allow that wastage of time it may be too late by the time he gets there but like the woman with the issue of blood it can happen right here right here 